So what's going on guys, it's JM, it's Speedboxing. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel before you click on 20 of my videos. Also comment below in the comment section if you guys have any opinions on what I'm saying in any of my videos. Like always, it is appreciated if you guys could drop me a sub or two on my channel. So Andre Durrell defeats Jose Uzcat guy. Sorry if I butchered that name there. Via 8th round disqualification to pick up the interim IBF super middleweight title. Like this fight was weird. So I just had a quick drink there and yeah this fight was weird because us cat guy was disqualified because he knocked Andre Durrell out after the bell rang and it was weird because he hit him with a left hand us cat guy he hit Andre Durrell with a left hand and he hit him with his left hand and he was following it up with two more shots just as the bell rang and he followed up with the shots after the bell rang and it knocked Andre Durrell out face down and there was a lot of commotion about this but I don't think he would have got disqualified really if he wasn't doing this in previous rounds because he was doing it earlier on hitting after the bell and because it knocked Andre Durrell out as well and stuff like that he just had to be disqualified and a lot of people weren't happy by this at all like this fight was very close in my opinion but um, us cat guy was up on the scorecards at the time of the stoppage by a couple of rounds which I thought was a bit weird because I had this fight very close but he was up by about two or three rounds on the scorecards like he started off well us cat guy like he was landing the harder shots on Andre Durrell and stuff like that but Andre Durrell started to find his timing and stuff like that and he started to get into the fight a little bit more but us cat guy was up on the scorecards but I think he was being frustrated a little bit by Andre Durrell Andre Durrell came a little bit more elusive and he was timing us cat guy a lot better so he couldn't land anything and I think it was frustrating him and that's why he was hitting after the bell and yeah he had to go the fight had to be thrown out Andre Durrell a lot of people are saying he could have continued but we don't really know that like he got up and he looked alright afterwards and stuff like that so a lot of people were pissed off by this but was even more shocking about this fight was that us cat guy got smacked in the face by Andre Durrell's uncle like after the fight had ended like he was stunning us cat guy's corner Andre Durrell's uncle and he just turned to him and hit him with a big shot like the first shot like connected fully but he didn't really move us cat guy at all and then the second shot was just like a grazing shot that just went past up cat's eye a little bit and yeah this is a big commotion like come on big man you cannot be going around hitting fighters in the face if you're not a boxer like they'll slap the cuffs on you big man you can't be doing that but yeah this fight was weird and then we had this big commotion like i think the best part about this fight was the uncle hitting us cat guy in the face <laughs> like all this other stuff's gone on but the best part in my opinion was the fight between his uncle and us cat guy like this fight was weird as fuck but yeah Andre Durrell is the new interim IBF super middleweight champion and I think why his uncle has done this because this has happened to Andre Durrell before when he fought Arthur Abraham in Germany in 2010 I think it was in 2010 I think it was either 2009 or 2010 and Andre Durrell was winning that fight convincingly against Arthur Abraham but he seemed to slip on some water that was in the ring like a wet surface in the ring and he slipped on it and went down and Arthur Abraham hit him while he was down and it knocked him out and Arthur Abraham was disqualified but it caused Andre Durrell neurological problems and he had to be out of the ring for pff, nearly two years he was out of the ring for about 20 months and I think this is what's pissed his uncle off because he's seen it happen to his nephew before He's seen how it put his career on hold. He's obviously a part of Andre Durrell's career because he's there in his corner and stuff like that. So I understand him for being pissed off at us cat guy for hitting him and knocking him out after the bell because he's seen his nephew suffer from this before and got injured from it. But you can't go around hitting fighters. You just can't do it. If you're not in there to fight, if you're not in there with a pair of gloves and your shorts on, you're not there to fight. 
and I don't know what's going to happen to his uncle now I'm guessing he'll be in a bit of bother but yeah Andre Durrell new interim IBF super middleweight champion I'm guessing he will get the rematch with James DeGale down the line if James DeGale is still the IBF super middleweight champion and I think Andre Durrell really wants that fight because I think he felt like he won that fight I didn't think he won that fight I thought the fight was very close and that Andre Durrell made the fight a lot closer in the later rounds like this is what he did in this fight really like us cat guys started off the stronger landing the harder shots but he started to get more into it Andre Durrell but obviously he couldn't finish that because he was not that in the 8th round and he was not that after the bell so he still got the victory but he was not out still so yeah I'm going to stop waffling on now because I'm just waffling on <laughs> comment below in the comment section it's JM it's Beatbox